Okay, now, this project, I'm gonna make this. This is a two-dimensional scroll saw, scroll saw portrait uh, with a photograph put onto um, a ply and cut out uh, and put in the frame. So let's have a look and this is how I did it. So, uh, okay, so the plan is we're gonna try and do a scroll saw project uh, using this as the picture, but I'm going to try and do something a little bit different and put it uh, 3D. So the plan is, I printed off, I printed this photo, which I'll explain what it is later, um, on photo paper. Then I took it and got it photocopied on a laser jet printer or laser jet photocopy. And I, I think I went to Office Depot or Staples, one of those sort of places, and just got a standard copy done uh, on a laser jet printer uh, onto normal paper. Uh, I've done that three times, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this stuff called Mod Podge to glue the image to the paper, and then we're going to remove the paper and put the image on, on the on the wood. And then I'm going to scroll saw out um, the ice as one piece, uh, the ship as another piece, and then have the background behind it as a third piece. <laughs> Stick the image on three separate boards. So the first one, we're going to glue the image down like this with the Mod Podge. So when we actually let it dry, we can scrape the paper away. The Im image is left on on the wood. Um, so my plan is to have the first image. I'm going to just cut out the ice and have that at the front. Second image, I'm going to cut out the uh, ship. Um, not the ice, just the ship. On the first one, and on the last image, I'm going to leave completely behind. Uh, I don't know how that's going to look. If it doesn't look great, I'll probably just paint that black and have a black back background. But I'm thinking with the 3D effect and the backlight, and it may work. But it's quite easy to paint that as we go along. <coughs> so the next thing we need to do, or what we need to do now, is uh, put the Mod Podge on. So I just need to lay it, make sure I'm happy with the orientation of the wood. Uh, I'm using 6mm ply here, which isn't isn't great ply to be perfectly honest, but I don't use anything bigger because I think the frame would look too big and it's too hard to cut on the um, scroll saw, particularly with the detail. And I'm not going to cut out the actual rigging, I, I'm just going to do the, 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 the outline. I'm kind of relying on the light here to play off that a little bit and give it some depth. Um, it may not work, I don't particularly know if it will or not, but we'll give it a try. So the first thing we need to do is Make sure it's nice and clean, which it is. Uh, that's the best. Yeah, I'll sit. We're gonna put the Mod Podge on, which just goes on like I think it's like PVA glue, to be honest. And I'm not gonna use my finger. I'm gonna use a little applicator. Yeah, this may take a while, so I may, when I'm editing this, I may just speed this up to make it a bit easier.
it's been 24 hours, well, nearly. Um, so hopefully this has gone off. Now we're just gonna try and have a look at getting the paper off and leave the image behind. What I'll do is we'll do one real quick um, here, then I'll time lapse the rest. So basically what we're trying to do is, <coughs> excuse me, um, we're just gonna wet the paper until um, it really just dissolves um, and then rub it away. Uh, I've done this before and um, I've tried to use a sponge, but to be honest, what I tend to find is the best way is just to use your fingers and rub it on. Um, the little thing you have to be careful of is, it takes quite a while for the paper to come off, so you have to kind of rub it up. If you go too hard, you'll end up taking the image off as well. So it's a bit of a delicate process. Uh, knowing how far and how wet to get it really, you know? Um, but you kind of know, it will be nice and smooth, and then when you start rubbing it, it gets a bit kind of gritty. That's how you know it's starting to work. But you can kind of even see, as you start to wet it, you can kind of see the image coming true. So, get as much on there as you can. And really, it's a case of just slowly trying to work the paper away as best you can. Although this is a messy process. <laughs> So um, I've transferred the image uh, onto two A4 bits of ply, and I've done the third one, which is just in the bottom here with the ice, which I'm going to cut it. Now I've lost a bit in the edge, just there, but I'm going to colour that in anyway with a bit of dark paint so I can make make that match. The only thing is, it's taken a while, and I've done this a few times, but even when you uh, take the paper off, it always leaves this little film behind, which you can see when you wet it you actually see the image come through properly. So I think I have to kind of try and wipe it down and clean it a few times. There's still a bit of paper residue that stays behind. So I'm gonna get this image as crisp as I can. So once I do that, I'll actually seal it with some um, some uh, sealers or some uh, acrylic or something, just to have a, a clear coat on the top. But I'm gonna give it another clean, and then we'll get on the scroll saw and cut the pattern out. All right. the back picture in the frame which you can see there um, now I actually uh, spray painted the inside of the frame black just to try and match the color uh, and lacquered the photo as well I put a, a clear or a cellulose sealer or a clear uh, lacquer on it uh, which I, I dried with a torch to try and speed the process up a little bit so that's, that's the, the, the basics of the, the box made. Um, what I've also done is I've quickly cut out the second one on the scroll saw. And my plan is to fit this one um, halfway in the frame. I'll have to trim that down, which I'll do now. Um, and then I'm gonna scroll saw out this final piece, which is gonna be the uh, ice of the front. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I've got some lights, LED lights, which I'm going to put together. I think what I'm going to do is have a play first and see how it works out. So uh, I've got a the self-adhesive LED strip lights. And these ones are blue. I'm going to think blue should work well with the black and white. Uh, so I'm going to wire that in there real quick, measure things up, see how it fits. 
uh, and then make a decision on where to put the uh, little thing at the front. But we'll, we'll play beer in and see if we go. Okay, so that's the LED lights wired in. So my plan is to try and backlight the picture of the ship. So the LED lights at low level. Well, obviously these can be cut down, so I don't need the full length. But I'm not quite sure how you want to do this. So I'm going to trim this real quick on, bar on the bandsaw, make it fit, and then we'll do some test fitting. Okay. difficult than uh, I expected. Um, what I um, well first and foremost <clears throat> this is a picture taken by a photographer called Frank Hurley um, ooh, over a hundred years ago. He was the um, expedition photographer on the Endurance which was the uh, ship of the Imperial Transarctic Expedition. Famous expedition to Antarctica by Ernst Schäckelin. Uh, the ship actually got stuck in the ice um, and ended up getting crushed um, but it's a really famous photograph so I, I'm a bit of a, an Antarctic nerd so I, I kind of like having to do with Antarctica um, but I've always loved this picture um, and I didn't want to just uh, it was too complicated to scroll so I it on its own and it, it's such a, a cool photo with the with the colours that I want to try and use the photograph so what I ended up doing was uh, transferring the photo onto wood uh, I did that three times so on the back there's a photo and I scroll saw the shape of the ship on the second photo. I, I had planned to use some waves at the front, but to be honest, once once I got the lights in there, you know, I, I, I think the depth works better. So basically, yeah, I built a frame, put some LED strip lights in the back, which you can see when they go off. I think the blue looks quite good, because uh, this, this particular photograph has a, a kind of night bluish feel to it anyway. Yeah, so that's it. Um, uh, yeah, it was a bit complicated, but uh, I think it turned out reasonably well. Um, the frame actually was made of some parquet flooring I'd left over. Um, so I sprayed the inside black, lacquered it. I aged it a little bit with a torch, which uh, you may not have seen on the time lapse because it, it went fairly quick. Uh, I just wanted to get this roughed up look a little bit. So I aged it a little bit as I went along. And I think it, it adds something to it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, it's the Imperial Transarctic Expedition ship, the Endurance, very famous ship. And I'm pretty happy with it for uh, something different, you know. Um, I've done some scroll saw work and um, I just wanted to do something different and I, I think this is cool. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, so, yeah, that's how you do a, well, two-dimensional scroll saw portrait uh, in a frame with some backlighting. Pretty cool. So there we go. That is... That's her finished. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Give me some comments. Let me know. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks. <music>